Hello everyone and welcome to my video for today. I found this on sale uh, for a long time ago and I have been keeping it for now. And um, I was thinking that we could use the instruction on how to make these and maybe make them even smaller than they are here on the picture and then uh, see what we get and I'm gonna play with that today so if you don't have this I'm really sorry but you could go and see if you can find some of these straws that we are going to use for it these are some I'm actually not sure what kind of straw it is they are fairly thick um, and these all come in the box together with some string and a how-to let me show you here so a how to do it uh, but we're going to try it out in uh, first the right way and then later in a smaller fashion but um, you need these dry things to do it and you might be able to find those somewhere around there out there or you might even be able to find the package here but let's get to it. I am going to put these in hot water for around four hours before we can um, start with it at all. So here we are. I have the straws that I needed. There are 18 straws here and I have three left in the water. It has been lying in the water for around four hours, maybe even a little longer. So I'm starting with these 18 pieces and I am uh, putting a piece of this golden thread around it. Uh, a little before the middle and a little after the middle. And I'm tying these really, really good and putting at least three knots on uh, these uh, threads so that they don't unravel too easy again. And you want to tie them really uh, good here so you can see they're kind of spreading out in the ends instead. So in one end I am taking three of the straws and I am braiding that for the tail of this little goat. I'm going to call it a goat. I know the name for it and I will um, not call it that because I cannot say that name. I made one of these goats just in... Uh, polymer clay a few years ago and I do will link th to that one in the info box below. When I'm done uh, braiding here I am taking another piece of thread and I am going to bind that around the end here just like before uh, making a knot really tight wrapping the yarn around it a few times and then making three knots cutting off the excess and the excess of these straws. Now I'm dividing the other straws here in, in this end for the legs. So I'm taking one part of these and I'm bending it downwards. And again, I am uh, placing a ribbon here at the top of it. And the more you can bend them downwards while doing this, the better, because that will make sure that it keeps the shape in place. Um, so wrap it around and tie your knots. Then I'm going to take yet another string and I am going to tie that a little uh, over the first we did here for the length of the uh, leg. And um, I'm making this one in the size that it really should be. So I am making the legs a bit longer than I would do in 1 to 12, cutting off the excess of the straws. I'm going to do the same on this leg, but I am going to jump that really easy because you know how to do that right now. But do the exact same thing on this side. Cutting off the rest of this leg. Now we have two legs and a tail at the back end of this little goat. In the front I am taking six of these straws for one leg and six for the other legs. And I'm going to leave the rest of that where it is right now. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing here on the legs in front. First tie a ribbon around it at the end here of the legs and make sure it's really nicely tied on there. I like to make the three knots because I have a feeling that that will keep it shaped better. 
and again I am going to do the same on the front of the leg and I'm trying to make the leg just as long as the ones we have in the back so again tying that around cutting the ends and cutting the straw and then I am going to do the exact same thing on the other six for the other legs Here we are, I did all four legs and now I am collecting the last pieces of straw here so that we can make the neck of the goat and I am tying a string here around the neck um, a little up from the neck. And I'm just tying this knot here. I am leaving the rest of the straws here because we need that for the rest of the head. So do not cut these off. Just cut off the rest of the string when you're done with this. I'm placing a rubber band around the legs of the goat so it is sitting in the position that I want them to have and they will dry like this. I am taking the last three pieces of um, straw here and I cut them on the middle and now I am using a string to um, put them all together here. Place them around a centimeter or half, one and a half centimeter over the ends here and then just tie the string. Again I'm using the three knots because I feel that they are better. So we have six pieces here and I am taking three of them and I am going to braid that together all the way up and tie a really nice knot on this and cut off the excess of the straws. And I'm gonna do the same with the other three of these straws here. I'm just uh, doing the, the rest off camera. So now I have this piece with the two braided horns for the goat and I'm placing that here on the neck so that they are turning downwards and I'm connecting these two parts exactly where they have been uh, bound together like that. So I'm just gonna wind my yarn around there and make a knot again. Again I'm using three knots to make sure everything will stay in place. It can be hard to see but I'm cutting off the ribbon here and then I'm making a new ribbon and placing that like a centimeter from the first we made. So I'm just uh, putting that over all the rest of the straws here, placing it and then tying it really good together and again wrapping it around and making the three knots here. When I have that done, then I am going to bend the head downward so that we bend it in the first place where I tied the string, right there. And then I am wrapping the thread around the neck and around the um, muscle of this little goat here. And then I am again going to tie it really, really uh, tight so that it won't get out of place at all. And again I'm using my three nuts. I like these goats where the muscles are kind of um, cut in an angle like I did here so I'm gonna do that but you can cut them off straight underneath the um, last ribbon. Uh, give it a millimeter or two before you cut it from the, the ribbon but I like it in an angle and now I'm just putting another wrap rubber band around there to keep these horns in the shape that I want them um, and the tail pointing upwards and now I'm just leaving that to dry for a uh, day or two before I take off the rubber bands. So here we have the normal size from this packaging and I think it came out cute. It is small but it's the normal size. So we made it in the original size for the packaging but I wanted to make these smaller so we can use them for the dollhouse. Here I am using a silver string 
and I took 12 straws this time for uh, the body and I have left three in the water for uh, the horns of the goat and I'm doing the exact same thing as before I'm tying off the first around uh, a little from uh, the middle of this and the next ribbon I am trying to keep that uh, around a centimeter from the first one I tied around I don't want them to be too small because then I think they will be a little too fiddly and I don't want them to be too big so around a centimeter and I just broke my string so I needed another one so I'm going to place these strings double because they were not uh, strong enough for me to pull like that so around a centimeter here on the tummy and uh, just make sure you tie it really good In one end here I am taking three of the straws and I'm braiding them for the tail. Again I am making it a tiny bit smaller than the original so I'm not braiding everything here. But I'm braiding until I think it is long enough and then I am uh, binding a knot around it just like we always do. Now it is time for the back legs, so I part the straws in four and five of them. So one leg has four and the other one has five. And I'm doing the back legs just like we did with the big one. I just make them smaller than the big one. So here we have the back legs done and let me compare them to the big one or the original sized one they're here so they are around half the size in front I am dividing them into three parts of four of these straws so four for the neck four for one leg and four for the other leg and I am starting with the neck piece here just to get that out of the uh, way so I am uh, binding this uh, together and making my three knots here I made the front legs of camera and I just did them just like we did on the other one or um, at the back of this one as well uh, and now I am just using my rubber band here to make sure that the legs are in the position that I want them in when it's all dry so now I am going to take the uh, last three straws I have and make them into the head for this little goat we have right here and as you saw I did cut them over on the middle and now I'm just doing the same thing with these as we did on the other goat I am first binding all these small pieces here together leaving a tiny bit of space underneath the knot and a lot over the knot then I am dividing them into th three pieces at the top and braiding those and then uh, binding that together and the other side as well, just like we did with the bigger goat. Again, I made these a tiny bit shorter than we did on the big goat. So now I am placing these horns onto the head of the goat and I'm binding that together exactly where I have the binding in the first place and again I'm using the three knots to keep it in place then I take yet another string and I am going to tie that first around here for the muscle just like on the other one again leaving lesser space between the first and the second uh, winding here uh, so that it is getting smaller and when I have that already tightened really good on there then you can either cut these uh, straws right away or wait I decided to cut them right away and again I am cutting them in an angle because I like the, the uh, goat beard that you get there then I just bent the head down and I wrap the yarn around the neck and again the nozzle piece and then I am going to make a knot and then there is only to wait for it to dry a hundred percent 
This has been drying for a few days now, so let me take off these elast elastics, elastics band, rubber bands. Um, and this is the little guy that we made, and uh, I think he turned out really, really cute. Uh, let me see. He is, um, well, he is around, let's see, one, two, three, four, five centimeter tall and around four centimeter wide. So he is a tiny little guy. Let's bring the big one to uh, compare these. So that is the video for today. I think this was a pretty funny one to do. I like that one. I hope you enjoyed that as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Happy crafting!